So my friend, Muhammadan, and I'm happy for you. Now I cannot call you Muhammadan no more. You decide to leave Islam, so I'm happy for you. Okay, see. What do you think about uh, accepting the Messiah as your Lord? Well, to be honest, I actually make videos against the Bible. And I, I actually have a list of 101 contradictions of the Bible. I mean, I, I, I also, I've also been in the Dawah and I've talked with many rabbis and, and, and they've shown me, I mean, there's also scholars and I've read the Bible and I see many contradictions in the Bible. So when the Muslim, they say, we believe in monotheism, this is I, which is not true. Obviously, the Muslims do not even know what is God is about, and they don't know who is Allah. As an example, if I ask you now, who is Allah? What you would say to me? Who is Allah? Mm. Allah is the God of Muslims. Or uh, this is not the question. I, I know that He is God of Muslims. I'm saying, who is He? Who is He? God. Let me make the question different. Who is your God, Allah? Are you going to say to me He is God? That would be silly. I told you already. I you know that the you're... definition, right? No, I'm asking you who is he as a person. Do you know even who you worship? No. Okay, so you you okay, so you're telling to me the attributes of God. Okay. No, no, you don't, know, you, you don't know anything. You don't know anything about this God. What attribute? I mean, your God Allah is a believer. He believes in what? Can you show me the verse? Uh, you don't know? No, I, 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 I maybe I forgot about that, but I, yeah, I have I saw the verse of the Muslims are the believers, I mean, but I don't remember about that verse, what you're talking about. All right. So if we go in the Quran, you can go right now to the list of the 99 names of Allah, uh, and you will see. Well, uh, I, I read in your book that uh, you you have quoted, in, in, like, Allah has 1,000 names, and also Muhammad has, you quoted a book in, you quoted in your book, uh, hmm. in the description of Allah, I've read that. All right. Muhammad, he have equal names to Allah, correct? Yeah, you quoted that in your book. All right, but uh, how how Allah, his name is Mu'min. Uh, can I see that? Be believer. Let us see. All right. Do you see it? Yeah. Read yeah. this verse for me and tell me how you how uh, do you agree that this is your God? Uh, can you put it a little bit down? I mean, scroll it down. In my side, it shows fine. No, the ayat number. Can you tell me the ayat number? Chapter 59, verse number 23. He is Allah, then whom there is la ilaha illahua, none has the right to be worshipped, but he, the king, the holy, the one from free from all defects, the giver of security, the watcher over his creatures, the almighty, the compeller, the supreme. So what does it says the believer? Okay, I will change the translator. Just be my witness. This is a chapter. This is a Hilali Khan, right? I will change the translator. Yes. Let us see how the Muslim translation work. Look, I just changed the translator. It became the faithful. But this is not what it says. It says the believer. The believer. I will change the translator again. Okay. You know what the word mu'min mean, right? Mu'min. What mu'min mean? Believer. Yeah, Believer. It's, it's okay, this is the word mu'min in Arabic. Here we go. Let me show it to you. Good. You know the word in Arabic. Yeah. It's in front of you. Do you see it? Al mu'min. Yes. All right. Yeah, they're all faithful. <laughs> you mean this? Yeah. So all the translation is a fabrication because they're trying to duct tape the Quran. Okay, Allah, you believe in what? But the same problem is also with Christianity, right? How is that? Um, you know the contradictions of the Bible. My friend, you see a contradiction. Okay, if this is true, that is the, again the Quran is false because the Quran chapter 2 verse number 89 says confirming what is with them. Speaking to who? To the Christian and the Jews. Let us say our Bible is not valid no more. How that can ser serve you now? So you try to avoid the embarrassment. I saw the word in Arabic and you agree with me that the word mu'min mean a believer. Yes, I agree. I agree. Okay, Allah believe in what? Agree. Well, I must see the tafsir for that. Uh -huh, again, so we have to see the tafsir. So the Quran, isn't it the Quran says that this is a book, we make it in clear details? But it also says that Quran is the tafsir of Quran and Muhammad will tafsir it. I mean, the Muhammad will explain it. What, 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 what is that? Uh, can you show me the verse that says what? 
I don't know. It doesn't explicitly says that, but it means it. I mean, I don't remember. The Show exact me what word. it means, my friend. There's no such a thing. The Quran says that this is a book which made its ayah or verses clear. So if he make it clear, then why would it have seen? We also have, we have the verse of Mutashabiyat that some verses we won't understand. Wonderful. Like, we so the verse. Quran says there is verses in the Quran nobody can explain them save Allah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, that is other problem in Islam. Why? Because if this is the case, then this is a contradiction. For if Allah, he make it so clear in details and then in other verses contradicting himself and says, there's tons of them you do not know what they mean save me so he did not explain anything in details and if you look into explicitly this is a contradiction i do agree with you no but, this is not uh, this is not this is not uh, looking at it this way because there's no other way if i say you you, you mentioned that you did read my book all right uh, if can I, I can you repeat that you you mentioned that you did read my book one of my book deception of allah correct yes all right if I am claiming to be God and I said, my book is so clear, even I wrote it in the best language in the world and uh, nobody speak Arabic better than me. And then you say to me that you, you know what? When I did read your book, I could not understand the word and 50% of it is horrible. We need interpretation for it. So when Allah, he claimed that this is a Quran, laysa fihi awajun, he said this is in a clear Arabic, has no crock in it. He lied. Do we agree? Okay, so this is a contradiction. I, I do agree with you that this is a contradiction, but does, there is a scholarly explanation for that, and I'm sure for that. No, my friend, read with me carefully. As an example, chapter 39, verse number 28. An Arabic Quran without any crookedness in order that they may avoid all evil so he made the quran so clear so why they will not have a crookedness in their understanding the purpose is not the language the purpose is your understanding do we agree yes okay if we go to different verse in the quran you will find that the quran is saying that allah he never sent the messenger except in the tongue of his people so they might understand is that correct yes so you just said to me that he sent it in the tongue nobody understand you mean you're talking about the mutashabihat verse well, all the quran is in some of the mutashabihat name for me one is not a mutashabihat all of it name for me one muslim scholar agree with the other scholar about the interpretation of the quran all of them to cover their bum um, they say Allah it's knows best what none. he meant by this verse. It's almost none. Huh? Almost none agree with each other. I mean, this is a big problem. I, I also face this problem. So, with this so the Quran thing. is not a clear book and Allah, he have a failure. You know, uh, if we read the verse in front of us, chapter 14, verse 4, and we have, we send not a messenger except with the language of his people in order to make the message clear to them. That makes sense, correct? Yes. Okay, so how Muhammad is an international messenger of uh, the religion of Islam to everybody? How he is a messenger for somebody live in Pakistan? Okay, so it was also my question to a scholar. So he answered me like the Quran is being translated. So it is, in, it is like... Thank you very uh, much. Because Allah could not keep his promise we have to use a human being to translate because Allah he failed because you just said to me we translate the Quran and that solved the problem but Allah he said we never ever send a messenger except from the people he have to be from Pakistan speaking the tongue of Pakistan to be sent to Pakistan it can not be a translation Okay, but doesn't the Quran also says that the, there were prophets sent to the civilizations like when there were human civilization in the past Pakistan before Muhammad, My there friend, was some kind the of... The Quran is a book as an example. The Quran, the Muslim, they say that uh, Jesus, he said, the Quran says, he says to the people of Israel, correct? Yes. Okay, but what is the name of the Bible in the Quran? 
الكتاب no. no, no, uh, كتاب إنجيل. is أهلو الكتاب people of the book إنجيل. But, إنجيل. 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 but إنجيل is the Greek word which is the name of the Greek Bible so if Jesus was sent to the Israeli why his book is in a Greek and remember Allah he never sent a messenger except in the tongue of his people so they might understand correct yeah, so so the Arabs at that time didn't say it in jail doesn't matter you are Allah you don't say what I say <laughs> No, no, no. I'm listen, saying listen, that the people. Listen, listen. Okay. They... So the book, the book, the Bible written, there's written in many languages. So uh, uh, disciples they went to different territory in the earth. So those who went to the Greek people, they wrote to them in Greek. So this is the original Greek Bible, no problem. But Allah, now He's talking about Jesus. Okay. Allah, He sent Jesus a book written in a Greek. What does it says Greek? What? It says the Injil. It says the Injil, right? Exactly. Uh, okay. Yeah. When you say Injil, is the word is exist before the language exists? No. This is a this is a Greek word language. So the Quran, all of it, never mentioned the the the, the gospel of Jesus except by the word Injil, Injil, Injil. Look at this. So El Injil, El Injil, El Injil. It's all over. So. If Allah, he never sent a messenger except in the tongue of his people. <clears throat> but the Nasara at that time, or you can say the Christians that existed that time understood as understood it as the Bible, right? If I'm friend, wrong. We don't, have, we, we don't have different. Yeah, this is Injil. Until now, until now, we as a Christian, even Arab Christian, we use the word Injil. This is a correct word. We are not saying this is a wrong word. No, we are saying that this is a stupid statement from Allah. If Jesus was sent only to the Jews, because this is what the Muslims say. They say every prophet was sent only to the to his nation, except Muhammad was sent to all mankind. Correct? Yes. Okay. But when Allah He said we never send a messenger except in the tongue of His people, He sent it to who? He sent it to Muhammad. Correct? Mm, yes. Okay. So He was confirming that Muhammad is one of them. So they might what? what? so they might understand so look what happened Allah he sent the Quran in Arabic to the Arab and Muhammad was an Arab yet the Arab could not understand the Arab of Allah the Arabic of Allah how stupid this book is imagine I have to rewrite my book many times so I can write it better do you think I, a God he can correct his book no Okay, let me show you a verse then. You just said, remember, you just said no. He, there is no way he will correct his book and write better book than his book, right? Logically, it's not possible, right? Okay. Read with me this one and try not to laugh. Chapter 2, verse 106. You mean the satanic verse, Ayat? Forget about the satanic verse. Uh, no, no, this is not about the satanic verse now. Whatever a verse we do abrogate or cause to be forgotten we bring something better or similar to it do you see the word better whatever a verse is able to abrogate or cause to be forgotten we bring a better on it Allah is able to do things well it kind of makes me laugh exactly Allah will make Quran better than the Quran and look, he will make you forget the Quran. So it actually means that it's kind of abrogated. Like uh, when you bring something better than that, then the past one is like Okay, now hold on, hold on. You see, I can abrogate without making you forget in the verse. Secondly, there is no verse better than other verse for all word of God is equal. Yeah. All right. So if Allah is going to cause you to forget, then he contradicts himself about preservation of the Quran. Isn't it the Muslim they say the Quran preserved? Well, Allah Himself, He said, I made you forget the Quran. This is number one. Number two, why Allah want to make you forget the Quran if He want to give you something similar? Do you see the word similar? Yes. 
But does the Arabic match with the similar? Yeah. I mean, mithliha. Yeah, yeah. Says. mithliha. In Arabic, it says mithliha. Read it. Okay. The same. So I will make you forget the word ayah, and I will give you a word ayah. <laughs> I will forget. I will make you forget about uh, the word horse, and now I will give you a similar word horsey. <laughs> that is silly. So what happened here? Can you show me the one better in the Arabic in in this ayat? Bi minha. Here it says nati bi khayrin. Better than. Okay, I get what you're saying. Yeah, because men, not only it's better than, it is way better. Not better, this was translation. Way better. Khayrun minka. Like, you know, when Aisha, she got jealous uh, from, uh, uh, from the women who offered themselves to sleep with Muhammad. What her father said yes. to her, you know, uh, uh, she, she is way better than you because she is offering herself. You are being jealous now, and this is the point of Islam. This, this is in Bukhari, right? Bukhari or Muslim. It's all over, it's all over. Yeah, I read it. But, but as you see, if Allah is the one, He is the author of the Quran, and Allah is God, Allah will not cause you to forget His word. Because isn't it the Quran says nobody can exchange the words of Allah? Isn't it the Quran said, So we will make you read or recite, but you will not forget the Quran? Yes. So how Allah how Allah He said that to Muhammad in one verse, we will make you recite and you will not forget. Another verse says, well, we will make you forget. <laughs> mm, I see. This is contradictions. Like foolish contradiction. Well, all the Quran is a foolish contradiction, my friend. Well, the thing is, I saw these contradictions, like not everything that you're showing, but I, I know some contradictions. But when I ask to the scholars, they, have, they always have some explanation ready for me. And... Like my friend, they always get me. My friend there is a plumber. There's a plumber. He comes to your house, he put a duct tape over the pipe, and the leak stop for now. But somebody might like me, he will pick up a needle and he will make it leak again. Because this is not an answer. What the uh, how do you explain that? I mean, like I explain it, it says you will not forget. You will not forget. And then Allah, he caused you to forget. But isn't it Muhammad said that the shaitan is the one who caused him to forget the Quran? Yes, it's a hadith. Okay, so how Allah is the one who caused him to forget the Quran, yet Muhammad accusing shaitan to forget the Quran? Hmm. Did Muhammad forget like the Quran? Directly calling Allah the shaitan. It's like indirectly saying Allah is shaitan. Well, actually, the Quran says Allah is shaitan. Don't you know that? No. Read this hadith with me, where Muhammad, he, we will go to what you just said. It says here, uh, the Messenger of Allah recited, and Yahya, etc., said, blah, 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 blah. I prayed, prayed along with the Messenger of Allah and witnessed that he recited the Quran during the prayer. And he omitted something, i.e. some verses, which he did not recite. A man said to him, Messenger of Allah, you omitted such a such verse, Messenger of Allah, he said to him, why didn't you remind me? If Muhammad himself, he forget the Quran, and the Quran says, we will give you Quran, and you will never forget the Quran. Can't Allah, if he is God, keep his promises? And I, I also asked this to a scholar, and he told me that it, it was before the ayat was revealed. Oh, hold on. So Allah, he said to him, you will read and you will not forget. After Muhammad, he forgot? 
that's what I heard from a scholar. I mean, like I learned from some scholars. So oh, okay. But, for my but uh, okay, how he knew that this is after? Same time, if I say, I will give you Quran and you will never forget, and then I forgot Quran. And I always forget Quran, and I never stop forgetting the Quran. In fact, we have tons of proofs that Muhammad cannot even remember what he said. As an example, you heard that Muhammad said that Allah sent him the book in seven letters. Yes. All right. What does that mean? He sent him seven Quran, correct? Yeah, the same thing in seven in the seven way. Okay, read, same thing. Read with me this one. He says. Ibn Mas'ud reported that Allah Messenger saying that the Quran has sent down in seven letters, he translated as mood, every verse in it has an external and internal meaning, and every introduction has a source of reference. Correct? Is it a Sahih Hadith? Well, yeah, it says Sahih. I, I mean, I don't, it, says, it doesn't say anything here, but... Uh, we can show you different uh, reference, you know. So let, let me read the verse. Let me, let me read the hadith. Hmm. Quran was set down in seven moods, and every verse in it has an external and internal meaning, and every introduction has a source of reference. Well, does that that is the masood means that that every mood, or it does only to the same every same verse? Every single verse. Every verse. But it says in it, it does not refer to the seven. I mean, like uh, every, same... my friend, every single verse, every single verse in it, every single verse, every verse. He didn't say some verses, every verse in it, there is outside meaning and inside meaning. So, how this is a clear book sent to us, because now there is actually there is a big sect in Islam or a group. They call themselves al Bataniyin. Bataniyin, no Bataniyin, which mean they talk, the, they take the inner of the Quran meaning, not the outside meaning. Because this is what it says. Okay. There's the Ashariya or Ashariya, Ashariya sect. There is many. I mean, every almost every, even the Muslim Sunni, uh, uh, in, uh, even the most, the, even the one they say we don't accept this, they practice that. You know. Like you, you just said to me that when he say us, he mean we as a majestic, correct? Yes. This is inner meaning. The outside is uh, is us. I've heard this from the creed, if you heard about it, the Ashari and the Maturi, the creed. Have you heard of it? I, I, I don't want to go, like I don't want to do what uh, I focus on Islam, not on Muslims. So focus with me in what Muhammad said. So, if the Quran is from Allah and the Allah said, I make it clear, and I said, I, 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 he said, he promised he will not make it uh, demolished, he will not make it forgotten, and then everything he said, it came to be the opposite. Okay, I get your point. Now you said to me, we mentioned about Allah. Uh, you said that you are you are saying that Allah is Shaitan, correct? No, it, uh, if you go according to what we agreed on or the explicit meaning, mm. then it, indirectly it means that according to Muhammad. Okay, that indirectly, it, it will mean that Allah is shaitan, indirectly. No, actually it is directly saying that. Let me show you. Chapter 4, verse number 143. Who is the deceiver? Shaitan, correct? Yes. Okay. If shaitan deceive you, Allah can guide you, correct? Mm, if shaitan deceives me, Allah can guide me. Uh -huh. Yeah, Allah can guide me. Okay, if, if, Allah, if Allah deceive you, can shaitan guide you? No. But Allah is, here we go. So who is shaitan? It says here, and the one who Allah make him go astray, never you will find for him a way. Which means to guide. So Muhammad is saying, Allah is saying to Muhammad, if you think you can guide them, you are mistaken. The one who I misguide, nobody can guide in the Arabic in the front of you. It says, 
ve men yudlilullah felen tecide lehu sebile. And the one who Allah deceive, you cannot guide. The Muslim, they try to make it look nicer. They say, whoever Allah, leave him as a strain, never would thou find for him the way. So shaitan is a nicer from Allah. Shaitan, he must guide me. I can be guided. Somebody meet me, speak to me, correct me, you know, convince me. Okay. Correct? Yes. Uh, but if Allah must guide you and deceive you, <laughs> Nobody can guide you. He is the highest shaitan. You say to me indirectly. In fact, this is directly. He is saying he is the best shaitan. But it can also mean that it depends on his wish, right? No problem. But his wish is what? Is the wish of God to make you a disbeliever? Um, if I would be honest with you, then... If you look into some verse, it does mean that. Okay, so Allah, Allah, He decided to make you a disbeliever. So why He want to punish you for be, being a disbeliever? Well, <laughs> if you ask this to a scholar, then he would say that Allah uh, Yeah, Allah knows best. You know, like let's let's think about it this way. I'm driving in the highway, and there is Allah. He put a sign in the highway. It says the way to Mecca. I took the way. I want to go to Mecca. Then I keep driving, keep driving, keep driving. Here we go. I found myself in Alaska. <laughs> so is it my fault or the fault or the one who changed the sign? The one who changed the sign, but it also goes into the philosophy, right? Hold on. We... But that's mean I am a victim and Allah is the devil. Okay, let us go to the shaitan. Is shaitan himself is a bad person or a good person in Islam? God, the cursed one. He's the cursed. He's cursed. He was his cast by whom? God, because of his arrogance. Did he worship Allah? Is he worshiping Allah or not? Is he, is he a Muslim or not? Um, that's a hard question. I, well, someone specialist in someone, uh, I mean, have deep knowledge in creed can answer this. But if you ask me that before he was cursed, he was Muslim. Before, but as far as I, the scholars. That now he's kafir and he's he's declared as kafir. That's false. Read the Quran with me. Chapter 7, verse number 16. This is the Muslim translation. Iblis said, Because you have sent me astray, in Arabic it says, Bima awaitani, the same word riwaya mean to make me uh, uh, tempted, be uh, uh, a criminal, you know. Like there's a other word in the Quran, the same word. Allah he said to Shaitan. You have no authority over my followers except al those who they are al gawin chapter 15, verse number 42. And the same word appears in chapter 26, verse number 91, chapter 26, verse number 90, 94. But al gawin is who? What gawin mean? Criminals, bad, uh, etc. Uh, you know, uh, 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 oh, very, very bad thing. So, who is the one who made shaitan? One of the Al Gawin, Allah. Read with me the word Gawin. Read with me, chapter 15. Look at the screen. It says here, This is Allah and Shaitan having discussion. The same chapter. Chapter 15. We, we went first to the chapter, verse number 39, and now we are going to verse number uh, 42. Allah speaking to Shaitan saying, Certainly you shall have no authority over my slaves except those who follow you. Of Al Gawin. Do you see it? Even they have it in English. You see it? Yes. Okay. What Gawin mean? Mushrikeen. In real. Mushrikeen. In real astray. Those who follow, the, uh, those who go astray, criminals, polytheists, and evildoers, etc. Do we agree? Yes. All right. Let us go back to the verse before it. Verse number 39. Who is the one who made shaitan from Al Gawin? The same word. Look how the Muslim translator says, yes, yes. Oh my no, Lord, oh my Lord, because you misled me, I shall indeed adorn the bath of error for them. Who is the one who misled shaitan? 
God. I mean, it's your God. So who yeah, is Shaitan? So who is Shaitan? <laughs> Who? Can I get your point? Shaitan is just a victim, you know. So now Shaitan, because Allah he deceived him, says, Okay, you know what? I'm going to revenge and deceive them. And Allah he agree. He told him, Okay, I gave you authority to deceive everybody. I will give you like some to do some of my job. Except Nobody will follow you from my slaves. But then later we find that Muhammad receives satanic verses, correct? Yes. So how the Quran says Allah, he promised shaitan that nobody can be deceived by you except those who follow you from the mushrikeen, the criminals. And then Muhammad, he receives satanic verses. That Muhammad is from the people of shaitan. Huh? That actually means that Muhammad is from the people of shaitan. I mean that if you look in the explicit way, it actually means that. So my friend, Muhammadan, and I'm happy for you. Now I cannot call you Muhammadan no more. You decide to leave Islam, so I'm happy for you. Okay, see. What do you think about uh, accepting the Messiah as your Lord? Well, to be honest, I actually make videos against the Bible. And I, okay. I actually have a list of 101 contradictions of the Bible. I mean, I, I, I also, I've also been in the Dawah and I've talked with many rabbis and and. And they've shown me, I mean, there's also scholars and I've read the Bible and I see many contradictions in the Bible. Hmm. You made videos against the Bible. Isn't it weird that uh, you are able to see contradiction in the Bible, but you did not see in your book? Well, I also checked the Hebrew word for those and Hebrew words totally said a different thing than the, con than the translation. I mean, the New James translation and the do you, New International do you speak, do you speak, translation. Do you speak Hebrew? I don't speak Hebrew, but okay, so how I you know, know that, that, that I also speak So how you know, my friend, first of all, we don't judge the Bible by translation because translation means translators, correct? Me, myself, uh, I don't agree with yes, all sir. translators because a translator or translator, they are, this is not God, this is a man translating. Well, the name behind my Skype channel has, it has some connection with you because since you make videos against Islam, so I make videos against Christianity when, when since as a Muslim. Okay, look what happened. Isn't it? This is funny. You decide to go against Christianity because of a Christian prince and then a Christian prince, he made you leave Islam. That is a good one. That's a good one. Yeah. All right, my friend. Well, I'm happy for you and feel free to contact uh, Sam Shamoon. He's live on air.